Hello everybody, my name is Dalton Nelson and today I'd like to give my thoughts on a game I just beat. That game being Alien Soldier for the PC. Alien Soldier was developed by Treasure and published by Sega. It is a 2D action platformer. Wait a minute, this isn't Mega Man 7. Well, I had planned to review Mega Man 7, but I learned that I did not have a copy of the Mega Man Legacy Collection Part 2. It turns out I got the right case, but the wrong disc. So instead of reviewing Mega Man 7, I chose to review another action platformer from 1995. And that game is Alien Soldier. I was very excited to play this game, because Alien Soldier is developed by Treasure, a development company that developed one of my favorite games of all time, Gunstar Heroes. If you haven't played Gunstar Heroes, I definitely recommend it. It's fantastic. One of the best games of all time in my opinion. Now an interesting thing about Alien Soldier here is that it was only available in North America through Sega's former online video game service, Sega Channel. Until, at least, the game was released on Wii Virtual Console and on PC. So, having played this on the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive collection, available on Steam, I got a chance to finally play through Alien Soldier. And the best way to describe this game is through its major concept. The concept of Alien Soldier is that it is one big giant boss rush. There are 25 stages in total in the game, each with its own unique boss fight. Separating these fights are small, compact, and linear stages filled with easy little challenges, like weak enemies where the player can replenish their health if they're skilled enough. There are also six weapons that the player can use to tackle the challenges of the game. There is the Buster Force that has a high fire rate, shoots straight, and does adequate damage. There is the Ranger Force that has a low fire rate, shoots a spread shot, but doesn't do much damage. There is the Flame Force that is very strong, but spends a lot of force. There is the Homing Force, which is a flamethrower that homes in on enemies, that ignores defenses, and is a little weaker than everything else except for the Ranger Force. There is the Sword Force that shoots a thin laser, where the damage depends on the range of the hit. And finally there is the Lancer Force, that has limited usage, but does massive damage, and fires in a straight line. Each weapon spends something called force in the game when fired. This is basically the player's ammunition for that weapon. If the player switches to a different weapon and uses that weapon for a bit, all weapons not being used at the time will replenish their force. Players can upgrade a weapon's maximum force by picking up a container that has that weapon's symbol on it. But be careful. If the player picks up one of these containers, and it has a different symbol of a weapon that is not currently equipped, then the weapon you will be using will be switched out for that symbol's weapon. Alien Soldier can also be played in two different difficulties, Super Easy and Super Hard. Super Easy has bosses with lower health and has unlimited continues. Meanwhile, Super Hard has bosses with higher health, but has three continues only that you can use. If the player dies in the game, they are presented with the stats of their current playthrough thus far. Things like what the boss is, how much time was spent, and how many hits were taken are all displayed on this screen. As an action platformer, players can move around and jump. They can also shoot, with two different shooting modes given to them. Evolving from Gunstar Heroes, players can now switch their shooting modes on the fly with a single button press combination. There is a white mode where players can shoot in multiple directions, but cannot move. Then there is a gold mode where the player's shoot direction is locked in until they stop shooting, but they can move around while they shoot. Players can also counter projectiles by pressing the shoot button twice in succession. If the counter is successful, a health object is rewarded to the player for them to collect. There are some more moves available for the player, which include hovering in place, switching planes from ground to ceiling, and teleportation across the screen. The style and the pace of Alien Soldier is action-packed. Every sprite is very detailed and had a lot of effort clearly put into it. The enemy designs can be gross and unsettling, making them all the more killable. Boss visual designs in this game are amazing. There is so much thought put into each and every boss fight in this game, making them all seriously memorable. The soundtrack is also fast-paced, with some great action music that pumps up the blood. Now Alien Soldier may seem like a tough game, but it all has to do with patterns. Learning a pattern to a specific stage or boss can lead to some very satisfying outcomes. My favorite moments in the game were conquering some of the very tough milestones, and finally getting my inputs just right 
so that I could beat the boss efficiently. However, I did have some problems with Alien Soldier. Some moments of the game could feel really cheap, like the water levels, the random attack patterns from bosses, or some obstacles that obscured the foreground or the background. I would have also liked some more logic in terms of the stage progression. For example, there is a moment in the game where you go from fighting a spider to what seems like an elevator in space, to the earth blowing up, then to some snowy mountains, all within the same string of events. I would have liked it if the stage progression seemed a little bit more clear and logical, as said before. Also, I didn't think some of the weapons were as useful as the others. The usefulness of all of the weapons within Gunstar Heroes is what made that game so perfect, so I would have liked to see some sort of balance here as well. The story is too convoluted for a game like this as well. There's this wall of text before the title card even shows up that explains all of the narrative, but I zoned out pretty quickly. The narrative needs to be more visual, again, like Gunstar Heroes. Finally, the only boss I hated to fight was Seven Force. This boss has many different stages to it, and it's like fighting multiple bosses at a time. I thought this was a bit excessive and could have been toned down a bit, but overall I actually really enjoyed this very fast-paced and action-packed game. If you enjoy games like Dark Souls or Fury that is all about learning patterns and overcoming tough challenges, then I think this game is going to appeal to you a lot. I'm going to give this game a final score of a 7 out of 10. It has some very fun and satisfying moments, with some tough and very memorable bosses. I did have a few problems with the game, but it wouldn't stop me from recommending it to you. Alien Soldier is a very fun and action-packed game that you should pick up whenever you can. That concludes my review of Alien Soldier. If you like my review, you can like, comment, or subscribe. I also have links in the description to my social media pages, as well as a link to my online portfolio where you can see game design works that I have done. And so, with that out of the way, please make sure to have a nice day.